may not have told them to actually do that. Mon first the pixel, now this. You're a monster. <laughs> hey, more of the reason to choose Diamond Grove over Aramata. What? I just assume people only chose Aramata because they didn't have Diamond Grove because they didn't know how to unlock it. Yo, okay. Whoa. So this is the uh, the revenge match, and Toily is coming here mad about the results of the last one, going immediately and almost getting a spike kill at zero. Yeah, she's going full steam ahead now. Yeah. Who's going to win? Training montage Toily or post time skip Joe Cool? Alright. A little bit of whiff city there. But I think both of these characters definitely have the moves that promote that. Yeah, for sure. And you know, Claren is the character to whiff punish. <laughs> that is very, very true. Good kill. See how much extra credit Toldy can get on the board. Looking like a lot, maybe a stock? Mm. Okay, she barely makes it back on, somehow vanishing to find the second tongue fairy there. And aerial tongue. The first set was very, you know, frog happy. Joe Cool is running around, but Toily is showing that no, 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 this is the matchup of the bracket for a reason. And that she is going to get her revenge. Joko yeah. casting in the stock to knock one of those out, but he's gonna have to pull that again. And you know, um, Joe could definitely turn this around. We've seen how solid, like, um, his patience is, his, um, combo game is. Yeah. But Joe's advantage state, too, from the previous set we watched was nothing short of remarkable. Yeah, for sure. Oh. It is even just with the stock difference. Joe Cool definitely uh, warmed back up quite a bit. Started getting their eggs in the basket. Gets the kill. Still 90% yeah, on the board. Or 100%, my bad. What the... Was he that close to ledge to slide off like that? I think Renum's kind of slippery. He, he do be slippery. He's a little, you know, he's a slimy little frog. Toilies has to be careful here. Oh, never mind, commentator's curse. The strongest move killing once again. I take issues with Claire and F Strong being the strongest move. Oh my. I mean, the joke is that. The joke is that a lot of low-level clarins spam F-Strong. I can see that. <laughs> uh, also... If it's totally... not clear, no, it is not a strong move. <laughs> yeah, it really is, but Toily, totally... why would you leave this open? Against Ronald by all means. Yeah. I, I like to make fun of this stage as, like, the only, sh you know, shitters pick it. But if you're fighting a fire character, and especially if you're fighting Claren, you pick the stage. Yes. Likewise, if you are a fire character, except Malo, you want to ban the stage. Because yeah. it has no platforms for you. So you think Malo, Malo kind of wants to ban the stage. You think so? Yeah, I, I think Malo likes to have some platforms to like play around and land on. I mean, it, well, the way I think is that it's kind of dependent on the models like can't be or not, which, let's be honest, that's all of them. Or most of them. Well, I think the platforms give Malo a ton of options, but there we go, two stock to two stock, one minute in. They just not, the, this is like the second worst stage in the game. What's the first one? If you're asking that, I have lost faith in you. Hey, actually, who do you mean? Forest Bird. No, yeah, you shouldn't be asking what the worst stage is. Only Claren should ask. 
Tempest is kind of fuck kick. Some who who can kick Sky the Leprechaun? Okay, yeah, yeah. We all yeah. Tempest is the worst stage in the game. Kick. Streamer, Ban. streamer lady's gonna kill us both now because she's a Tempest lover. Yeah, that, like I said, only the Clarins think it's good. I blame Dinos. But anyways, uh, this stage, this counter pick is working out really well in Joe Jokul's favor. Yeah. Oh, evening it up though. Yeah, but it, like I was about to say, at the same time, Toily is like uh, keeping this kind of close, even though it's not the greatest fire character stage in the world. No, but uh, as much as we've been talking about stages, I don't think stage picks are the end-all, be-all. Who's gonna win? Yeah. That. It's just easy to talk about. Comfort picks matter more than just general um, counter picks in character matchups. Because if you're comfortable playing on a certain stage, then by all means go to that stage. The less you refer to a tier list, the better you're going to do. Yeah, please for the love of God. <laughs> Hashtag stop asking about tier lists in yes! uh, Ask a Mentor. <laughs> Good kill response there by Doily. Taking back this stage. Showing that, yeah, Clarence can run on FD. I mean, if you're if you if the neutral is solid enough, then it will work. Then <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm wait. going to cry. This is no longer, you know. Oh, you know, maybe totally forgot. No, this is power plays by Toily. Joe Cool though, not denying his, uh, you know, ability to pick the stage though. Actually, on second thought. I shouldn't shit on this counter pick so much because Ronald Ronald loves platforms as well. So if you take the platforms away for both characters and it's a neutral stage, and they need to rely on neutral itself. I do know randos are fine at this stage. I mean, every month I have to see Durai and Ante play two out of five matches on this set for their set. So I know it's not it's not something randos are afraid of at least. If you can use needles enough, yeah, then yeah, which Jokul has been showing us very well that he knows how to use needles on this stage as he finds the first stock. The F-strong kill. Evening it again at the one minute mark again. Oh. Jokul entering that rano mode. Toady slips out though, gets some hits in, gets a lot of hits in maybe? Oh. Jokul has a huge lead right here. Just forcing these coast to coast edge guards gets the parry into the down strong kill. Yeah, now um the run back is starting to bite Toily in the butt a bit here. True. I mean to be fair, the last game was very close for both of these players. But now this yeah, time especially around, with Toily winning, I, I wouldn't blame Toily for not worrying about, you know, not banning it. Yeah. That hit? Good idea there by Toily to just had to fare away the bubble yeah. so Joko couldn't sling on it, but doesn't DI into bubble, has no resources and Ooh. yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's come to bite in the back. Joe Cool taking this is game three, right? Yep. Yeah, game three. Finally on the board, but which is good, you know, because the uh, Toily only needs one game away to turn this thing into a reset, and we'll see if either Joe Cool can force a game five or we'll get we. Mm, I'm sorry, or if we'll get the reset as we go to Tropical Pond. Uh. This is definitely a stage I think both characters quite like. Oh yeah, for sure. With that being said, it's looking like a Joe Cool likes it a lot. There's been a lot of just like, the pace of these games has shifted a lot more as well as they've gone on. There's a lot of counterplay around each other. Yeah, definitely. You, you can see both of these players just kind of adapting back and forth to each other as they progress. Oh. 
Yeah, the edge guards definitely have changed too. Both players kind of got a feel for when they should and shouldn't go ham. Right. And that's like that's a good thing. That's what you want to do. Yeah, very. I completely agree with you. Coily, um, finding yet another tip of extra flip. Ooh, missing that up strong there. Toilet's gonna capitalize off of that. <laughs> the low profile though by uh, Joe Cool. I mean, hey, that's actually Yo, a good thing. Let's to go. Do. Okay, never mind. Play around the Twitter clip if we get to watch it. Joe Cool just going, getting the revenge set up up strong. Rano being able to like um, low profile um, all of Clarence there is actually a good thing in this matchup. And if you know, because 9 times out of 10, the Claren, if they're like flat boosting or anything, or double jumping, they're gonna land with that dare, so if you just prepare for it by, um, just crouching, then you won't get hit by it, as Rano. A little bit of, um, matchup knowledge, you know. a bit trigger happy, like that dash attack had, there was zero universe that would have worked earlier on. But, you know, again, you take time to make a criticism, and the player shines through, gets the kill. And this is... this is Grand's, right? Yeah, this is Grand, so we're yeah, going to a reset. Yeah, that's This is the RRC Thunderdome. Wait, is that not... Oh no, this is reset, never mind. Yeah. Cyberhex is playing a tricky on me. I thought the number of matches I would see would be set. Yo. 80%, 90% on the board right now. This is looking very, very safe for Joe Cool. Yeah, he's looking to convert this into a clean zero to death, but just as I say that, totally getting... A measly 5% on there before Joku can finally find that kill. Yeah, squeaking on board. All percent adds up at the end of the day, though. Yeah. Still waiting to see Joku just kind of put the bubble out and slow Toily's up the ascent. You know, don't be afraid to don't be afraid to do that. It's a pretty solid thing to do in this matchup as the Rano. No. Totally going for just the raw dog kill off the top. <laughs> the uh, MPF smash. Uh, I have nothing to say about that. Yeah, I can't believe that purple's in the middle of the stage. <laughs> which I guess makes sense, because Toilet's at like 140-something percent. Yeah, Rando F Strong is nothing to scoff at, and this stage's blast zones are deceptively close. I mean, lower they're level close, Ronald's close, kinda have a similar problem. Oh no, the mist tech! Yeah, unfortunate mist tech there. Lower level Ronalds kinda have the same problem where they like to just spam F strong at ledge like Clarence. But uh honestly we haven't seen that from Joe Cool at all, which is good. We're just getting all of the same counter picks and stages from the previous um grand set, huh? Wouldn't it be surprising they picked them for a reason the first time, right? Yeah. Actually, no, not not the previous grand set, the winner's final set, I should say. Yeah, well, yeah, the last one was weird with the uh, double FD. Oh. Yeah, again, that tech is coming in, or the lack of tech. Again, Jokul's ability just to rack up these low percent combos into, you know, suddenly very high percent combos is doing him lots of favors here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is a good situation to have the field up. 
just <laughs> saying no bubble allowed. No bubble buddies. Yeah, you don't you don't get that life insurance policy. You, you don't get to have that uh that emergency contact. Oh, set up the uh, Dacus Upstrong, the Rano tradition. Uh, Joko is just kind of running away with this now, you know. Yeah, I think Joko definitely had a bit of that the uh, the staple winners bracket rust, you know. Yeah, and, you know, sometimes it just takes you um, the first set of grands to finally. Yeah. Uh, well Wait, Sometimes back you up. have to wait a week, you know? And then, then you yeah. can start playing the game again. Whereas Toily had to uh, fight to the top here. Ooh, Good read the... right there by Toily. I want to say that was a roll in. Uh, it no, like it a... looked like a, almost a. It was some sliding move. Maybe even a Dacus. Maybe dash attack. Yeah, either way, that was a good catch by Toilet, but it won't matter. Uh, Joko will seal out that second game. Going into game three, you're going to Neo Fire Capital. Fuck, Capital. English is hard. Yeah, this is a Toilet's potential tournament game coming up here. She's gotta make something happen now. She finally wants to win RC. These are both RRC demons, though, for sure. Both of these players are very big threats in RRC. Yeah, and it's funny, because, um... Joku got, um, I want to say, like, top four in RAS one time, but this is, like, before the ban... the ban limit got set to, like, top two in RAS, and... got top four in RAS, got banned from RRC. The limit was increased to, um, two. Got unbanned because of how inconsistent he was, but hey, tonight Joko's been showing us that he he looks pr more consistent than ever. Inconsistent just means you have great skill, just a matter of always having great skill, you know? Yeah. No one's inconsistently better than they should be, you know? If you're inconsistent, yeah. it means you're capable of something really good, you just don't always get that. But you still have to be, by definition, capable of it. That was a nice bubble recovery there from Yeah. Joku. Skirting around the stalling. Oh no! Miss space is the, the- No! <laughs> Hit each other! Yeah, and you can kind of just see that Toilet's getting a little bit anxious here. Yeah, gets the kill. It's a good start. They could just get a strong plays into uh, Joko's second stock. I think it could very well go her way. There, these high blasts are not just high, but these insanely large blasts into the stage are coming in clutch right here for Toily. Yeah, sometimes more space is better, but Toily getting caught by that deck is... It's gotta make something happen here now, and will that kill? No, Almost. great DI by Joe Cool. Oh, that fair setup too. Oh, Toily is about to even up this entire match. There it is. 15% on the board is nothing in the scope of the whole match. You just need, if you can keep that, just that level of play, this, I think this will be a runaway for her. Yeah, well, she definitely needs to be playing a li little bit more patient here. You know, we saw that with dash attack, but things like that that you gotta cut back on if you want to finally take a game here and maybe start a potentially start a reverse 3-0 oh, uh, ne never mind guard by joe cool setting up the uh, fate or the needle fair to get the kill for the tourney the classic the classic rano edge guard just gonna take the whole thing yeah, the 
<laughs> the staple. Very, very well played by both players there. Yeah, no, some very, in very, um, close games throughout both winners finals and grand finals from both of these two players you know unfortunately only one person can win finally graduate from rc that is true there was only one winner per bracket as painful as it is both of these players definitely earned that title but joe cool coming back in the reset and just cashing in these kills and there was very few moments where Jokul let Toily exist at these low percents. Toily always had to watch that target on her back for a kill option. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But that'll conclude um, that top is... six of RC main. Yes, that is RC. What's this? One oh seven. There's been a hundred of these? Yeah. The fuck? Were you I'm not so here for... Hexed. Were you not here for the um, big old RC100 stream? No. No, I'll, I'll be honest. I didn't know RC was a thing until like a month after I got Raz banned. So like... I, I just did not know this was a thing that existed. This is all like new to me. That's fair. That's fair. Holding the, the RRC that time forgot. Yeah, this is true. This is the Joe Cool returning back to RRC, isn't it? <laughs> Post time skip Joe Cool. Currently waiting. Perfect. Yum. Okay, I just. Uh, the awkward silence can only last so long, right? I'll let you go first, Jazz, while I think of something witty. Oh, uh, well, like we said, that's the end of, um, this main bracket. Uh, I want to say, is somebody doing Novice tomorrow? Is someone... I might be able to do it, I'll see. Oh, um, yeah, no, we need more of these brackets streamed, yeah. Let's make sure Novice gets streamed. I yeah, might be able to have a final tomorrow, but 